I usually, usually people go, wait, what do you do? Because I usually at work or wherever I am have like a flower in my hair and I'm like, oh yeah, I wrestle, I fight people on the weekend. And they're like, wait, what? <laughs> I think the world of wrestling, I use it as an escapism for uh, my regular life. Uh, it's my livelihood, and I think wrestling, when it's done right, is the greatest thing on the entire planet. When you're in that ring, you're not thinking about anything else. I'm not thinking about any bills, not thinking about any girls. I'm not thinking about the fact I don't have a college degree. All I'm thinking about is the performance and the art of wrestling. Um, so I, I went to college and I went to law school. Uh, and it was it was uh, halfway through law school that I decided I had to do this. I just felt like there's something missing, and there's something I've always wanted to do. And if I don't do it, then I'm never never going to be fulfilled. And I, I, you know, I'm going to be a wrestling fan my whole life. But I'm going to sit back and watch. And say, wow, I really wanted to do this. I never found what worked for me until I found wrestling. And as soon as I found that, I felt I found a sense of purpose. The first time I did it, I felt I knew this is what I was put on this earth to do. And it wasn't until I entered the world of professional wrestling and I tapped into that magic that I ever feel like I fit in anywhere. I'd always loved wrestling, but I just never thought because of my disability it was even possible. I was born with cerebral palsy. My particular form affects the right side of my body. It's most noticeable in my right hand, arm, and fingers. Uh, I think anytime you do something that's never been done before, you're going to have doubters, you're going to have haters, and you're going to have disbelievers. Yes, I have one leg, but I'm a hell of a professional wrestler, and you guys are in for a treat. And that's what's going through my head when I fire up on that second rope. He is my hero. And he always has been my hero since I got into wrestling, since in 2011. They're way more than just fans. They're way, way more than just fans. They are the reason that I am able to go out there and live my dream. The fact that some people look up to me, um, I don't know, I'll never understand it. Just because uh, how I feel about myself. This, this great life that you have, this uh, great experience that you have to get pulled out from you at any given time. When I walk out and there's a reaction like that, it's like justified. All, all the hours spent and all the bruises and bumps and aches and pains and can't get out of bed in the morning at 25. It's like, you know what? For that 20 minutes while I'm out there and this eight-year-old kid thinks I'm like his idol, it's worth it. 100% worth it. I feel like I have to go out there and give 110% no matter how I'm feeling, no matter how physically injured I am, I just have to do that. Tired now and sweaty. <laughs> I have some old cuts from last week. It's just kind of a, I kind of heal and then get beat up again. And you know, when I went through those ropes, I, I broke down because this is the last time I'm ever gonna have this. I look at the ring and I just kept thinking, this could be the last time I ever see a wrestling show from this angle, from this spot right now. I, I had these flashbacks of me being 16 years old and being so excited to step into a wrestling ring. The ring that I've seen on TV, you know, thousands of times, like finally I'm in this ring, this is really happening. And this is like the end of the journey. About one minute, into the match. I lose all feeling in both my legs. 
and I wrestle for 26 more minutes like that on dead legs. A lot of people are like, "What? Why didn't you just end the match? You know, why didn't you just stop?" Because I couldn't. Uh, didn't want to let people down. <laughs> Uh, but today, I, I take it one day at a time, uh, and I appreciate each and every fan interaction that we have, and I appreciate the platform that allows us to share our story, which is the best platform in the world, professional wrestling. Wrestling for me was just a place where I was accepted. It's where these people genuinely care to see me and genuinely care to talk to me and genuinely care to see me go out there and do what I do. Hopefully I showed people that I still got it and everyone feel like they got their money's worth. Um, crazy how life works. Crazy.